while YouTubers are still getting copyright strikes and copyright claims. Let's go! My name is Dean, YouTube music certified and a music coach. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to use copyright free music that YouTube definitely suggested. You cannot be a YouTuber and still getting copyright strikes based on using someone else's music. I've gotten many copyright claims, of course, and sometimes there's a confusion between a claim and a strike. I, 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 I get it, right? You can get a copyright claim, and all that is is that some the, the owner of that music is getting the is getting the money on that video. So you can't really monetize that video. That's all that is. A copyright strike is something totally different. But we need to pay attention to the music library inside of YouTube. I mean, they created that for us, for you and I. <laughs> And, you know, down through the years, the music was a little, you know, not so hot. But they have updated, man. I think the, la the last update was in December 2020. And there's some nice tracks on there. So I want to show you how to access the YouTube audio library. And also let you know if it's okay to use that music on another platform like Facebook or Instagram. Let's get it. All right, so as you can see, man, it's fairly, fairly easy, right? As you can see, my home screen, got a couple stuff going on here. So all you got to do is go to your profile and click YouTube Studio. And once you click that, you go over to the side, to the left, right? You scroll down and boom, right here, YouTube Audio Library. Click that. All right. As you can see, this is the YouTube audio library. Okay. You got sound effects in here and all that good stuff. Now you can also filter anything you want to filter in here. So you can filter track title, genre, mood, and various things. So let's go with genre. All right. So let's choose hip hop and rap. And by the way, you can definitely choose more than one genres. Okay. And that's super cool. So let's choose pop. I love pop. So you click apply, right? All right, so let's check out this track right here called Awful. <laughs> what a name. Let's go. Let's go. Woo! All right, <laughs> let's check out some more real quick. Let's check out Piano Trap. Fire! Oh my goodness. Fire, fire, fire. Brooklyn and the bridge. Let's go. Hey. What? It's that YouTube library, baby. By the way, YouTube, I mean, come on. For me as a Jamaican, when I click on the genre reggae, number one, those tracks, a lot of them is just trash, straight trash. The next thing is not every sound from Jamaica is reggae. There's, there's a difference. There's reggae, there's dance hall, there's different types of music that's in Jamaica. You just can't name everything reggae and it's something totally different. Let's take a listen. <laughs> really? YouTube? That's your reggae? Let's try out On Fire. Yeah, this is straight reggae right here. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> it's 
so we got a bonus for you. If you ever want to file, um, you know, a digital millennium <laughs> act, right? DMCA. If you ever want to ask YouTube to remove a video, like, how do you do that? How do you file? Did you know you can go straight into your YouTube studio and you can actually file that application? So all you got to do is go into your YouTube studio right here and go over to the left and right here where it says copyright. So if you don't have any copyright thing going on, then this is you. This is what you will see. But right down here, look what it says. You haven't submitted any copyright takedown requests. But if you want to, you click it. Click that link. And right here, submit a copyright takedown notice. This is where you would go and you would come right here. You'd submit a copyright complaint. That's where you would go right inside your YouTube studio. And you're welcome. This is where you go if you ever feel like your content is infringed upon, right? If someone used your music without your permission, you don't want to associate your music with that person's content, this is where you would go uh, so you can submit a takedown notice. Please subscribe to this channel. Help me get to 500 subscribers. I'm a music coach, music publisher, and a YouTube music certified. Yes, YouTube music certified. Dean Reynolds Media, subscribe to this channel and click the bell to be notified whenever I drop more awesome videos. So there you have it, guys. How to find YouTube music library. Don't be afraid to use it. Ooh, but I have one last tip for you. If you clicked off this video already, well, too bad. Now, any song that you're trying to use from your YouTube library, like, is it safe to use it any other place? Let's check out that right here. See right here where it says license type. You come here, click view details. YouTube audio library license. You're free to use this audio track in any of your videos, including videos that you monetize. No attribution is required. YouTube may credit the artist and link the audio library from your video. You can use the music inside of YouTube audio library only in your YouTube videos. This is Dean Reynolds Media. Peace.